Hello, lovelies. How are we doing? Hope everyone's okay. Hello, Troy. Hello, Jerry. Uh, hello, Bratman. Missed you, Bratman. Where have you been? Uh, David, hello. Happy Saturday to everybody. Hello, Gary. 729613. Leslie, how you doing? Hope you're all right. Adam, hello. Happy holidays, says Jerry. Indeed. It's funny, actually, the whole happy holidays thing. My tree has now been up for, what, a week and a half, two weeks? But this is the weekend I would normally put my tree up. So people saying happy holidays now kind of feels a bit late to me, but this would normally be when I do the whole tree thing. Um, <clears throat> Daniel, hello. I'm. How am I tonight? Do you know what? I'm not feeling 100% still. I had a negative pe uh, COVID test come through on Friday. I'm actually sucking throat and chest sweets because I've got a really bad chest and throat still and I keep coughing and I got a headache because I, I think the force of my coughs is causing me to have a headache, which is not a good thing. I feel all right myself. It's just this damn cough. But apparently it's not COVID, so that's all right. But there we go. Um, everyone's saying hello, Trisha. I love your Christmas tree on the last stream, says Jerry. Yeah, it's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I just kind of wasn't uh, <coughs> feeling alive in front of the Christmas tree tonight. <coughs> <coughs> just because I'm in a bit of a state still, <laughs> to be honest. Um, issued you, Lu uh, issued you, Lucy, especially the Christmas tree with that dress. Still not happy with the notification I missed. I know. I was really surprised. Oh, thanks for the sub. I was really surprised. Do I get a Christmas card, Lucy? Says Adam. I get a Christmas coffee. Oh, look at that. Casey even brought me some paracetamol. Look. I think she's actually trying to kill me off. I think she's drugging me up. Look out of those now because I had some not so long back. Um. Anyway, where are we? Uh. My tree has been up a couple of days, says Troy. Good, good. That's nice. Do I get a Christmas card, says Adam. Do you know what? It's been a nightmare recently because it's surprising how many people get in touch, which is lovely. I love hearing from everybody, especially my old faithfuls and my nearest and dearests. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's surprising. Do you know what? Just lately, I keep getting all these messages on Instagram and if I don't reply to people, I have to point out, I literally, literally get hundreds of messages a day. Hundreds, right? So bearing in mind I've got practically a full-time job as well, I get hundreds of messages a day. And people get proper surety if I don't respond. The problem is, I ain't got time. I have generally not got time. So those of you that message me, that are like the people that are on here tonight, talking and everything like that, you've been with me since the beginning. So wherever possible, I always chat back. Um, but it is a nightmare when I get these people come out of the woodwork who I've never spoken to before and get proper shirty with me when I don't actually respond. Funny. Um, Bratman's good, that's all right then. Good evening, Matthew. I hope you're well. Got your booster COVID jab today, says David. <gasps> what did you have today? The Pfizer? I think the Pfizer is the one that most people are getting, aren't they, on their boosters? But I think somebody had what's the one that begins with an M? M, -m, 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 -m. There's another one. Somebody I know had that one the other day. Um, I'm getting my booster on Wednesday, and I have to say, I am cacking it a bit because the amount of people I know that have had bad reactions to the Pfizer, which bearing in mind that's kind of supposed to be a little bit of a glimpse as to what it would be like for COVID. Everyone's been saying, you know, I'd rather have two days of feeling rough after the booster than like 10 to 14 days or longer of being ill after the actual COVID itself. So, like there. Uh, go for a proper test, Lucy, with this news. I did, no, I went for a PCR. I went to it for a PCR test on Thursday. I had a PCR, so I started feeling rough last weekend, 
And then um, I think bar, I think Wednesday, was it Wednesday night? Wednesday night, either Tuesday night or Wednesday night. I felt really rough. But I think the problem is I, if I ever get anything, I get a head cold. That's what my, that's my thing. When I was younger, I had my, when I was 17, I think I was, I had my tonsils out. Up until that time, if I was ill, all I ever got was tonsillitis, tonsillitis, tonsillitis. I was ill all the time with tonsillitis. And then, um, and then after my tonsils out, sinusitis all the time, sinusitis. So I get a good dose of sinusitis every year. And I think last year, and I normally can cope with it. Last year, I think because everyone was either isolating or wearing masks, people weren't getting colds and flu and coughs and sinusitis and everything like that. They like they normally do. So I don't recall having sinusitis last year like I normally do. So I think it's hit me this year. And I, I like I say, and I don't think for one minute it is COVID or was COVID. I think I generally just had sinusitis. And the problem is with that, you get, without getting graphic or making you all throw up, you know, you get all the rubbish in your head and in your sinuses and it goes down the back of your throat and it makes you cough. So that's why I've got a cough. But to be on the safe side, I've been doing lateral flows and I got a PCR test done on Thursday. Got it back yesterday, which said negative, as I expected. But there we go. Um, Daniel says, sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. Thank you. Frontman's fine. Joe is fine. Troy's fine. Um, and he says, hello, hello. Joe says, I'm thanks, y'all. Love that. Bonjour, mon chéri. Sal, how you doing, my lovely? Sal is currently on a train. Woo woo! Is it the Santa train? Or is it, uh... Oh, what's the film? With Tom Hanks. What's that one? Polar Express. I'd quite like to do the Polar Express one time. Is it Nightmare or Murdering Pig tonight, Lucy? Says Troy. I don't know, actually. I, it can't be Nightmares because I've not brought the controller out with me. I've been playing on Fortnite on the xbox in the lounge so uh sorry that i'm rattling the sweet around my mouth is to stop me coughing up i would be coughing like a trooper if i didn't have the sweet in my mouth uh adam says hello bratman i've got my booster wednesday lucy but we are going around in circles with this covid says bratman yes we are we are do you know it's a nightmare because the omnicron of course is more contagious they're saying but the the actual um symptoms are less problematic aren't they unless of course you're an anti-vaxxer um who was it jimmy carr was recently in concert and you know for the people on this chat who are anti-vaxxers you know that's completely up to you completely up to you so i'm not you know i've had the vaccines and i'm going for my booster but you know i'll do me you do you and all that but um yeah, Jimmy Carr was uh, doing his stand-up gig recently. And he said, right, he said, anybody, he said, let's talk COVID. He said, everybody, anybody in the audience that's an anti-vaxxer, so there was a handful of people put their hands up, not many, but a handful of people put their back down. He said, right, what I want you to do now is take that hand and slap yourself around the face with it, which I do think was rather amusing. But there we go. Um, everyone's saying hello to each other. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Crab spider cloud red. Says Annie. Whatever. Good luck with your booster, Bratman. Yeah, word of note. Keep an eye out on these recent bot accounts and spammers and trolls in the chat. Block or hide them as soon as possible if you see them. Thank you. Well done, Jerry. Jerry's on the case. Y'all listen to Jerry. Andrew Hawkins. Hi, Lucy. When do you want that diamond ring? I thought we agreed I was going to get it in the new year. As long as we're not all in lockdown, of course. Hey, Matthew Bratman. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for the donate, Bratman. I missed you too. I mentioned, well, you ought to notice when I did the live last week and you weren't there. I mentioned you a couple of times. I kept saying, oh, he's going to show up in a minute. And you never did. Uh, that would be me because I sent you a message and never got a reply back on Insta. Troy, I'm so sorry. Is your Instagram account Troy? Does it say Troy on Insta? If it does, then I must have missed it because I know you, Troy, obviously, because you chat on here all the time. But I do apologise. And I will say as well, 
Some of you will know that occasionally, not always, depends on how busy I am and what I'm doing, occasionally Kate will respond on my behalf. Because she's the one that goes through all the messages and blocks all the pictures that are not okay. Put it this way. I get a lot of pictures that are really not okay. And she manages that for me. Because I don't want to see all those pictures. Not really. You, of course, you lot on here now are all gentlemen. So you wouldn't send me pictures like that. I know. There's a lot of people that do. I could create a big montage. All different shapes and sizes. <laughs> <coughs> Don't laugh, Lucy. You'll cough. Um, Adam says, I tried super chat. Did it work? Keep trying, Adam. I actually wish I hadn't gone for the booster today. I had a setback with my cat. She has had three seizures today, by which time vets were shut. I'm beginning to think she's... Oh, no, David. Oh, that's so sad. I hope she'll be all right. Oh, I love animals. How am I feeling now, Miss Lucy? Yeah, Jerry, I feel fine in myself. It's just this, like I say, it's this damn cough. And um, I think the cough gives me a headache. And I'm not sleeping brilliantly because when I lie down, that makes me cough. Yeah. Anyway, it looks like we will be having boosters every six months for years, Lucy. It doesn't seem to be a way out. Well, the problem is, and again, anti-vaxxers, do what you want. But they're the ones that are going to keep it going round and round and round. So, uh, we will be. We will be until we've got uh, everybody vaccinated. Of course, there's quite a few countries now that are actually insisting, aren't they? So, I think, is it Austria that's actually said now, if you want to go anywhere, anywhere, you know, uh, apart from outdoors or in your own home, if you want to go to any venue, whether it be a pub, restaurant, nightclub, auditorium, sporting event, into a school, wherever, you have to show your COVID passport in Austria. And I know Germany are looking at the moment to do the same. Um, France are very much doing that when it comes to like restaurants and cinemas and bars. Over here, of course, we're saying um, COVID passport or confirmation of a lateral flow test but lateral flow tests are a bit of a waste of time i spent five hours at the hospital today with my mum oh matthew i hope she's okay i will next year in april to get my booster well done uh i want a christmas card ripped <laughs> adam you always want something but that's like me i always want something too uh keep fighting david yeah my tonsils grew back they obviously didn't get them all out then, did they? I'm led to believe things like that only grow back if they didn't get all of the tissue out. Uh, I was really... I, my throat hemorrhaged after I had my tonsils out because I was, yeah, I was 17, which is quite late to be getting your tonsils out. So, um, yeah, I was in a right old state. Andrew, are you selling your tights? Yeah, always. Always. When I'm not wearing them anymore. I go, they're fit for the fin. <laughs> I'll sell them. <laughs> um, Pfizer is the only booster available, so we will have to take them or we are in the position this time next year. Very depressing, everyone I know. Miguel shouts at me. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Miguel. There is another movie as well that involved a train and it's an Aussie film. Oh, what's that one then? Thanks, Leslie. Uh, Amir, have you ever been to, in Istanbul? Yes, Amir, I have been to Istanbul and I loved it. I went to Istanbul, oh my God, it's a long time ago, 2008, 2008, I think. My friend was dating a Turkish chap and uh, she booked a hotel to go over and stay with him in Istanbul. He wasn't from Istanbul, but she was going over to stay there. And uh, in the last minute, he stood her up. So she had uh, all her accommodation booked and paid for. So she phoned me up and went, oh, you stood me up. Get a plane ticket and come out to Istanbul with me. So I did. It was lovely. The mosques out there were fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful place. Loved it, loved it. 
I love the food. Really good. Um, everyone's saying hello to each other. Where is Roly today? She's missing out. Roly is missing out. Roly, where are you? We missed Bratman the other night, and now Roly's not here, and Steve's not here, and James isn't here. It's a few people on a Saturday night, see. Um, Lucy, I can't get Disney Plus now. Is Nighthawk? Is Nighthawk? Is it any good? Hawkeye. Hawkeye is brilliant. So far, so far, so good. It's still kind of telling a bit of a backstory at the moment, so I'm not 100% who everybody is. Not 100%. I'm getting there. But it's good. I like it. I like it, like it, like it. I am, what is it? Episode 4 now. So uh, I'm watching that one on Disney+. Plus. I'm watching, what am I watching? I'm watching the latest series of Lost in Space on Netflix. I'm watching Salvation on Netflix. I'm watching, what else am I watching? I'm watching a, um, woo, one about magic as well on Netflix. What's that called? Can't remember. Cursed. Watching Cursed on Netflix. That's all right. Next week, of course. Next week, 17th of December on Netflix. Henry Cavill, The Witcher, season two. I cannot wait for that. I've been waiting for a very, very long time for the second season of The Witcher. So that's going to be really cool. Um, Boxy Geek, you're like, got your back. I know you have, Jerry. I know you have. Yes, I watched the reply. Stupid notifications. I was gutted making up for it now and I missed your hair twirls. Where are the foxy ears? Do you know what? I'm kind of slouching in the chair because this chair that Steve bought me is lovely. But everybody comes out in the studio and instead of using this one here, they nick my chair. And um, they mess around. Oh, hang on that way. And they mess around with the settings. And when I sat down, first of all, I'm actually sat back a bit because if I sit forward, it chops my head off. There you go. And then you can't see my ears. So I'm sat back so you can see my ears. So there they are. Your Insta is Troy. Well, I do apologise, Troy. I never saw your message. Maybe it was. Maybe Kate was on guard duty at the time because I have been getting quite a lot of naughty, naughty pictures lately. So, um, and when I get them, I go, oh, you deal with it. <laughs> I don't want to see them. Um, I will send you the diamond ring in January. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, whatever stream you do, Lucy, it doesn't matter to me. I will enjoy it all. Oh, thanks, Jerry. Hey, gang, how's life? Roly. Holy W4H. Hang on a minute. Roly, have you changed your name? What's going on? Uh, pity the cough doesn't come with the croaky voice. I love that. The croaky voice is missing at the moment because of this sweet. When the sweet is gone, the croaky voice comes back. But then generally so does the cough. Kate's saying no messages from Troy Manning on Instagram. He, she's looking through. Um, any home remedies you tried for coughs like green tea? Um, do you know what? These sweets. <laughs> little black pills. I feel like I'm on the Matrix. Choose the black one. That's another thing I can't wait for. The Matrix Resurrection. Ooh, love it, love it. Um, these. I can't think what they're called. The packet of them is in the kitchen. They're fantastic. They're not the best tasting. They kind of taste a little bit like Fisherman's Friends, if any of you've ever tried those. I get a tickly cough, a really tickly cough. And these and Fisherman's Friends are the only things that tend to work for a tickly cough. However, <coughs> excuse me. However, home remedies, do you know what? Just black tea, black normal breakfast tea. Really, really good because it's an astringent. So that really helps. Honey and lemon. That's quite good, but the problem is with the sugar in honey, if it's a tickly cough, sometimes it can stick to your throat and make you cough more. So it depends on what's causing the cough. So honey and lemon is a very good thing, but also just black cough, black tea, because it's an astringent, it's really good. Uh, so Roly, I've got lots of messages to get through, so I might get, you might have already said this at the moment. How come you've uh, changed your name? 
on uh, YouTube. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Mandatory in most countries soon the vaccine. I think it's right. I'm going to scroll down. AB says, hello. We are the same here. I need COVID passport to go places yet. Yeah. I miss your balloon videos. She is, thank you, Bratman. Is it, she's just, oh, uh, her arthritis is playing up and all her joints were inflamed. Oh, it's awful, isn't it? My mum suffers really badly with um, arthritis. She's got, she's got osteoarthritis and another one, but it's not rheumatoid. And she's on really strong medication for her, her arthritis. Uh, yeah, same here, Sal. Been there, David, but hang in there. Yeah, it's not good. Troy is, Troy in Michigan since a week ago today. Thanks for adding me on Xbox. Nobody wants to race me on Forza Horizon 4 in the Ferrari. Ever wonder why? I should want to know why you've changed your name from Murray on here. Can you give me a shout out, Lucy? And you are so lovely. It says Andrew Hawkins. Andrew Hawkins, this is a shout out just for you. We'll try, but it's hard, especially as Kat was making good progress. Oh, yeah. Oh. Broly, you have to find me on Insta. Uh, Lucy, new film, December the 18th, Sky Simmer, The Last Train Before Xmas with Michael Sheen looks so good. Now, did I see that advertised the other day? I think I did. I think I did see that advertised. There's a load of new stuff coming out. Spider-Man comes out next Wednesday. I'm seeing it Friday morning. Can't see it Wednesday. I've got things to do. Friday morning. Although, you've got to wear your mask in the cinemas now. Am I going to eat my popcorn? <laughs> I love a bit of popcorn at the cinema. <coughs> then, obviously, Matrix Resurrection. Uh, there's a few good things. As in the weather, Jerry, bad in Kentucky, and we have got 70 mile an hour gusts up here. Crikey. Um... Ba 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 ba. Hang on a minute. I chat about something. Sandra B. Kids have to be very careful. Hang on. Sandra, what comment are you referring to? Sorry, I'm I'm slow on the uptake. I'm taking too long to get through the comments. Kids do have to be very careful. But I'm not sure in what context you're talking, my lovely. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Hawkeye. Right. Okay. I haven't been okay. I haven't been on the Forza Horizon lately. Troy, no. If you want a good show, I recommend a show called The Act. Daniel, what's that on? Is that Netflix, Prime, Sky? Which one? Uh, where is the gorgeous ears? They're on now. Right, my God. Let me scroll down because I've missed too many comments. I'll work my way back up. Ooh, Bratman, I got another donation. Thank you, my darling. Thanks for the shout out. I'll put Roly back if you're bothered, Lucy. Uh, no, it's okay. You call yourself Roly. I want to know what the holy W... Oh. Holy W4H Forza Horizon because you're a big Forza Horizon fan at the moment. Um, I just got to remember that Holy is Roly. That's fine. <laughs> and Roly's now doing a huge shout out to Andrew Hawkins as well. Disaster, we're out of damp, uh, dime chocolates. It's because you've eaten them all, Kate. Stop eating the dime chocolates and we won't run out of them. I've got a little stash, I've got a Christmas stash. So I've got, I've got in my kitchen, I've got floor to ceiling cupboards. Um, what do you call it? I've got a, like a wall, which has got my fridge freezer floor to ceiling. My fridge freezer's got a cupboard above it. Then I've got a couple of drawers, oven, cupboard, a couple of drawers, warming drawer, microwave stroke, oven, cupboard, and then I've got floor to ceiling covered. And in my top cupboard is my Christmas stash. Basically... It's not Christmas yet. Don't eat it. So in there, I've got my Christmas puddings for Christmas Day. I've got two big Christmas puddings and a smaller chocolate bomb Christmas pudding because my sister-in-law doesn't like uh, fruit. So she doesn't eat normal Christmas pudding. She's a freak. Um, but I'm with her on the chocolate. Um, I've got four packets of Sainsbury's all butter pastry mince pies because they are by far the absolute best. Three packets of Marks and Spencer's. See, I don't even know how many packets I've got there. Three packets of Marks and Spencer's stolen because that is just the best. Um, I've got a tub of lint chocolates. Oh my god, they are so delicious! I love lint chocolate. 
I like the red boxes. So we've got the red red packets and it's the chocolate lint balls with the like softer chocolate in the middle. Mm. Really, really good. Um, what else have I got up there? And I had this packet of dime bars, the mini dime bars, the ones you get from Ikea. And um, so because they've been up there, she hasn't spotted them. And then I had to get something out of that cupboard today because it does store other stuff as well. And she spotted them again and she started munching. So now she's out of them. <sighs> it's on Prime, Daniel. Thank you very much. Um, hang on then. Is it the pig in the house, Lucy? He can smell a foxy slaughter. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Oh, don't make me laugh. Loved your picture on Instagram in the dress. You look like a princess. Thank you. That's very kind. Uh, hey, Keanu, enjoying the match. All right, great. Lucy, what is the name of your Patreon I would like to join? Kate, you've been mucking about with the names and stuff. Leslie would like to join the Patreon. Can you let us know what it's called? Sweetie, you need to change your title. The end event was over a week ago. <laughs> Sorry, Brownsies31. You're right. I thought I changed. I obviously didn't save when I changed. Sorry. What did you think of the end event anyway? With the rock in it. It was all right. I'll buy you some chocolate sometime, Katie. Oh, don't buy her any chocolate. I need some lint chocolate. In fact, come on, guys. It's two weeks till Christmas. Literally. This time in two weeks, it'll be over. 10 o'clock at night on Christmas Day in two weeks' time. I haven't had anything from my... Am 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 oh. I haven't had anything from my Amazon wish list for a little while now. <laughs> and Christmas is coming. <gasps> Disaster, however. Did I say this last week? I don't know if I've told you this already. So my Captain Marvel costume arrived. When I put it on my wish list, courtesy of Steve, it was very specific because they are made to measure. So it only asks you how tall you are. So it doesn't ask you any of your other sizes, but basically it says, if you are this tall, this will be the measurements of the suit. Okay, fine. So I put in my height, five foot six. And it gave me the measurements it would come up with. And I went, oh, that's all right, because the suit needs to be snug. And that should be all right. Okay, fine. So we ordered it. Five foot six. Very specifically, five foot six. Well, they never made it for somebody who was five foot six. They clearly made it for somebody who was five foot ten. The arms were hanging off the end of my fingers. It was way, way, way too long in the body. And it was like a sack. It was massive. It was massive. So well, there we go. I mean, don't get me wrong. These things that are made in places in Asia, I know Asian women are dinky, tiny, dinky, tiny and completely different makeup to European women. But seriously, if I say I'm five foot six, I mean, I'm five foot six. I don't mean I'm five foot ten. Ridiculous. But there we go. Anyway. Uh, I went to the Bathurst 1000 and drove the brand new Aussie Gen 3 Chevy Camaro for the 2023 season. There we go. Um, how's that chesty cough, Lucy? You take on, oh, thank you. Um, uh, guess who is back, but you got sad news. <laughs> Remember what I said about I had a tor oh, hang on a minute. I had a tortoise and three guinea pigs. One of the guinea pigs died in my... Oh, Enderman Gaming. That's really, really sad. Oh. Oh, let's not keep talking about animals that are poorly and all the rest of it it's depressing isn't it i love animals i was absolutely traumatized when my rabbit died in my hands oh he had rdhd <sighs> very very sad yes yeah, since i worked for triple eight engineering for five years they give me a chance of a lifetime to drive the new gen 3 camaro that sounds really cool. That does sound cool. Um, right, what else have I missed? Right, right, right. Um, la, 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 la. The act is a true story. Have I seen a preview of that? I don't 
see if I have a no. I think I'm about done. Somebody says Kate's funny, really? Calm down, Karen. I've added some new Amazon gift list. Well, she's quite funny sometimes. Only sometimes though. Uh, I'm sorry for the negativity. No, it's not negativity. No, it's not negativity. You are sharing with us some sad news and that's fine. And you are welcome to do that. Everybody on this group can share anything that concerns them. You can share happy things or sad things. It's just that obviously uh, we've been talking about a poorly cat. Um, you've had a, you know, a tragedy with your guinea pig and I just, it upsets me. But, no, you should share. So that's absolutely fine. Don't apologise. It's okay. When are you going to do a Adam video? When you ask for a custom video, Adam. I'm sorry to hear Enderman Gaming. It's okay. Uh, but you're good, though. Good. I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad. I love guinea pigs. There is a story, talking about guinea pigs, happy story about guinea pig now. I was watching something the other day and reading some news articles and there was a woman who has a house guinea pig. Like I have a house rabbit that lives in my kitchen and it has free reign in the kitchen. It doesn't go very far, it never tries to go out of the kitchen, but it has free range in the kitchen. This woman had a house guinea pig that had free reign in her house. And last week she came home very, very drunk and fell asleep on the floor. And the guinea pig chewed her fridge off. <coughs> <coughs> Which I found highly amusing. And she showed a photograph of just like this one strand of her fringe that was left. Of course, if you've got a real bond with your rabbit or your guinea pig, they uh, groom you. So if you've ever had a guinea pig or a rabbit that you've bonded with, they groom you. So they kind of like nibble on your hair. And they t they'll either lick your skin and their tongues very much feel like very tiny little cat tongues because they're kind of quite rough. Or they nibble on your hair and they're grooming you and that kind of shows their affection. So he obviously loved her. But he, uh, yeah, he nibbled all her fringe off. I thought it was very funny. We are a family here, Troy. That is right. Um, Enderman's asking how everybody is. I'm pretty good at the moment, Enderman. Um, I'm doing just fine, thanks. Good. Ho, oh, Lucy, 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 you beautiful, you possible popping balloon in hills, you use foot pump possible, please, please, please. Mark, you need to ask for a custom video. Have you finished your Christmas shopping yet, says Matthew. Um, have I? So, I have, or I thought I had, and then a friend of mine who I've not really seen properly for two years, I would say, since the whole COVID thing. And um, I used to see her most Christmas Eves and we would share gifts. And then of course last year I didn't see her because of lockdown and her life, she's become a local counsellor. I don't talk politics with people. Um, but anyway, she's become a local counsellor and she is very, very busy very very busy now and a couple of times when I've said should we meet up catch up and all the rest of it I get a oh I can't I'm far too busy fine so I thought right well I haven't really seen you for two years and um you're far too busy for me this year I won't bother buying you a Christmas present and your family and she phoned me last week and said oh I'll be over Christmas Eve and I've got your present and everything happens so I'm a bit like Ugh. so I need to go and buy an I went out having a look today, actually, and I can't find anything. I don't know. I don't know why I get them. Steve Morris! Steve Morris is in the house! Hello! You're a bit late, my lovely. Where are you being? I, I said that you weren't here. Roly wasn't here to begin with, but then he popped up and made it. James still isn't here. Troy, I've had my dog since 1995 and sad he died in 2012 with old puppy. Oh. My dogs died this year. I had them both, ha uh, both of them had to be put down within six weeks of each other back in uh, June. It's very sad and they were 13. Very, very depressing. Um, this is a different setup from the other one. Why so? Shouldn't be. Should be the same setup. I hear that COVID rules have changed. 
I also heard toilet paper shortages are back again. Really? No, I don't think the toilet, um, I don't think the toilet paper things have happened. Not that I've heard anyway. Um, but the COVID rules have changed. So now, um, you have to, um, wear a mask indoors. It's kind of more compulsory now. It was kind of like, do what you want for a while. But now that's back and work from home wherever possible. So my work is now, I was supposed to go into the office on Tuesday, but my work has now said, no, nope, stay at home. Um, <coughs> there's another one, can't think what the other rule is. There was three things, masks, work from home. Mm, can't remember the other one. Um, Troy, Steve May, how are you? Hey Steve, I'm sorry, Troy. Lucy, you have a foot pump? Yes, I do, Mark. My mum died in my arms. Oh, Andrew. Oh, my God. This is getting worse. Well, <clears throat> there's no words to that, really, Andrew, is there? I mean, in a way, lovely to be with her till the end. Oh, I'm going to get upset. I can't talk about it. Sorry. <coughs> um, uh, da, 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 da. Steve saying hello to everybody. Oh, Leslie, thanks for the donate. Lemon carrot. Uh, do you know what? I don't actually see the emojis that you put on, so it actually says to, it actually says to me, lemon character moving his head from left to right with his mouth wide open and red hearts in his eyes. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you for the donate, Leslie. It's very kind of you. Um, Steve is saying hello to everybody. I'm sorry to hear that, Lucy. Uh, well done, Leslie. Yay, another donation. Yay. Everyone run for toilet paper to make creative newspaper. Exactly. It's Christmas, says Lucy. It certainly is, says Leslie, rather. It certainly is. Right, Steve, while I've got you on, my love, and Kate, you might have actually had this already, send me the stuff so I can send that Captain Marvel costume back. Such a lovely costume. Well, it is a lovely costume. It's just a shame it's so damn big. I was gutted. Literally, it arrived at my door and I was in the middle of work and I literally ran upstairs, stripped off and stuck the costume on. Um, and I was gutted. It was far too big. Really gutted. So, yeah, you need to. I, we need to send it back so you can get the money back because it wasn't cheap, was it? So, um, Enderman Gaming is stacked up on toilet paper. Fantastic. Uh you and me on the super chats leslie for our favorite god yeah thanks bratman and leslie that's kind of you um i'm sorry lucy did i bring the trail of sadness well we seem to be talking about some sad things don't we but do you know what it's fine to share you know we don't have to be happy and jokey and laughing all the time um thank you all steve actually put thank you all because he's British, unlike Jerry, who says y'all. I do like the y'all. I need to get that into my vocabulary on a daily basis. I forget. Thanks, y'all. Uh, Ray Nichols, hello, how are you? Um, elbow cough. I know, yeah, I have a terrible cough at the moment. And, of course, my throat sweet has now gone. So I don't... If I suddenly... Right, so what I'll do is if I say goodbye to everybody now just in case if i suddenly start getting a coffin fit that's it I, they they start and they don't stop for a long time um so um if i suddenly have to go because i have a coughing fit then on which case i'll literally just mute the mic wave and run out before i throw up because sometimes unfortunately that happens when i'm coughing so much so bye to everybody and thank you for your participation just in case i have to run out in a minute but there we are um I will be okay, Lucy, and don't get upset. Was it recent, Andrew? How recent was it? That's so sad, though. And I will. I will get upset, so I can't talk about it. Hi, Lucy. Good evening, beautiful woman. Tufan, hello. Um, Steve says, I'm so sorry. Damn, some of the most sexiest legs in the biz. Thank you. In case I don't get a chance to later, I wish you a happy holiday season, Lucy. Thanks, Upskirt Alert. Happy holidays to everybody. Season's greetings. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, enjoy it, whatever it is. Lucy, do those photos. Lucy, do those photos and I'll do that art for you. Or I must do that, yeah. <coughs> I will. 
my mum passed away last year and the other day my brother who has moved back to the UK gave me her memoirs which she wrote before she died oh oh now there's a tearjerker for sure Oh. Uh, sorry, can someone create a time machine to go back 29 minutes? Enderman Gaming, don't worry about it. Oh, Steve Morris. <clears throat> Thank you for the donate as well. And again, because no emoji actually appears for me, bizarrely, I'll tell you what it says. Pair character lying on the side, raising his arms while saying, how's it going? <laughs> I love... <coughs> I love the emoji descriptions. They're brilliant. Um, perhaps it was meant to be if the costume wasn't right, Lucy. I still think your channel could use some cosplay. Yeah, I think so. I'm no good at making cosplay, though, so that's the thing. I need to um, purchase things. But, yeah, no, the Captain Marvel costume, I mean, it was lovely. It was lovely. They're, bearing in mind the price of it, I have to say, some of the stitching was a bit on the old dodgy side. But it was just massive. Yes, the Steve donation, says Enderman Gaming, yes. Oh, I'm Bratman. I missed out on the tree stream, so I'm making up for it. Oh, thanks, Bratman. That's kind of you. Um, Jerry's put in laughing faces. Get some cough lollies. That will help a bit, Lucy. Over here in the UK, we used to have, and you can still get them in a few places, but not very often, actually sweets called cough candy. And they were really, really warming to your throat. They had kind of an aniseed flavour to them. I really liked them, actually. There's a shop not too far away from me well i say not too far away it's probably about a half hour drive and they do um it's an ice cream shop but they've got all the old-fashioned sweets in jars along the wall and they do cough candy actually maybe i need to go and have a look um you're welcome and great to see you here and hope you to see y'all soon says troy why have i got a lemon with hearts for eyes i don't know Love the ears matching ears next time. Matching red nose, I hope. Um, well, foxes don't generally have red noses. But maybe I need some antlers. Some reindeer antlers. Love the uh Don't go at all, Lucy. You can stay and cough. We don't mind. No, I wasn't going now. I was just saying goodbye for later just in case I have to go because of a coughing fit. Now I realise you didn't know who commented about the live stream. I didn't put Roly. Sorry. Ah there we go everyone in chat great to see you all here again and catch up soon and roly see you online in a few hours um oh andrew your mum passed away on wednesday oh let's hope she has a good funeral at the moment of course people can go to funerals because that's the nightmare as well isn't it when people have lost people and um people can't go to funerals because of covid and everything like that so at least at least you should be able to do a you know a decent funeral for her but that's so sad i'm so sorry to hear that um i added you on xbox lucy don't play fortnite but could play something with you when i'm back okay roly i just think i've started a thing don't worry please send me photos of the stitching yeah i gotta take some i was gonna take some tonight and then i'd left my phone downstairs very sorry to hear your news andrew love and prayers to you and yours i'll print it off in a poster and i'll send it to you as you can have it in real life thank you sal Anyways, Lucy, can you ask everyone who enjoyed the event? Okay. Enderman Gaming wants to know, who enjoyed the Fortnite event? Did you enjoy the Fortnite again, Enderman Gaming? I thought it was great. I, th I quite liked it. Um, did you notice how Rock did his eyebrow thing? I can't do it. My eyebrows move, but unfortunately, because of my Botox, I can't actually do much else. You go up and down and ask about it. <coughs> Um, you can get lozenges. I know I need to. Fisherman Friends, Lucy. Cough candy are nice. I like cough candy. Fisherman Friends are the best. They're really good. Thanks, Roly, and I will be okay. Gosh dang, is there even a sexier boat? Oh, thanks, Adam. Uh, bye, Troy. We'll get a time sorted. I will get through my mum's passing. You will, but it'll be tough. I mean, I, oh, God. I dread, you know, I dread the thought of my parents passing away you know they're getting on a bit let's face it and this oh don't want to think about it how are your girls sarah and charlie i like to keep up with how they are well so sarah was supposed to be coming around on friday to do some um custom videos but because i never had my covid result back she said i'm not coming around until you get your result back fair enough 
Um, I'm seeing her and a group of girls tomorrow for Christmas lunch. Sorry, not been sleeping because of this cough. Um, Charlie, on the other hand, uh, she fell out of a flipping loft hatch and broke her leg. That happened on Wednesday? Tuesday, I think Tuesday. So that's what Charlie's up to. After the sympathy vote, clearly. Don't want to do anything leading up to Christmas. So yeah, so she's actually broke her leg, falling out of a loft hatch. The lady who lives across the road from me has just brought another Labrador puppy. A sandy colour of... I was looking at puppies tonight. I had um, I was looking on Facebook and some pictures of some um, puppy beagles came up and they were gorgeous. We love puppies. Um, bad game. It says likes. We need more likes. Too right, we do. So the other day, I was at school and my teacher, who is Mel, turned up in an elf costume with tinsel as a tie. Good. Good. Was it like Christmas jumper day or a fancy dress day or something? I hope you've had like a Christmas jumper day or something like that. Um, holy roly, you are a beautiful, but using always the denim skirt. I hope you use others for future videos. I do like my denim skirts. Hang on, I got a ticky throat. Hang on. I'm going to pause you. Hang on. It's passed momentarily. I am going to start wrapping things up though because when the coffin starts, <clears throat> it stays. Um, Andrew, take care. I hope you stay well, my darling. Um, Charlie, of course, Enderman Gaming, you are Charlie. Knee high leather boots with the black mini skirt is absolute must. I must say, if you don't mind, my dear, quite all right. No worries, Adam. Um, that's unbelievable about Charlie. Hope she gets better soon and has a good Christmas. Yeah, I hope so too. I'm sure she'll be fine. Need any chocolate? Steve, I am getting through that linen, I have to say. Flush. Feel free to get me some more. And my Amazon wish list is open to anybody that chooses to buy me a Christmas present because Christmas is coming, which is the time of giving and all that, you know. Take a look. Buy a girl a present and all that. Um... No, the coughs, I know. Lucy, what are you doing on Christmas Day? Are you cooking or going out somewhere? I'm cooking for 14 people. Roly, I'm not filming it. I'll be drunk most of the time. <laughs> literally 14 people and I keep everybody out of the kitchen. So literally, Christmas Day, the tunes go on, the wine comes out. I ban everybody from the kitchen and say, leave me alone. And I don't come out of the kitchen until everyone's ready to set up for dinner. <coughs> so yeah that's what I'm doing <clears throat> sorry to hear about Charlie send all the best wishes Lucy and Vix and Sarah etc will do Roly oh bless feel better soon thanks bad gaming bye my lady oh Bratman thank you very much get some Jake Jakeman. Jakeman's that's them that's the black sweets I've been eating okay Lucy see ya see y'all see you and y'all others in chat and I'll see y'all next time live stream Another Brown Mount Day, yeah, Brown Mount Danish. Enderman Gaming. Charlie is going to keep pointing out every time I get a donation. Hair twirl, please, before you go. Okay. I will. Oh, hang on. Can't see it if I do with that hand. Um, Vaughan Johnson says, Good evening. Good evening. I've been having a coughing fit, Vaughan. So I'm actually going to be going in a minute. It wouldn't let me go on your wish list. Leslie, why not? Something's going on that you can't go on my wish list. I've kept trying not working, Adam says. That's really strange. Godspeed on the recovery, my majesty. Thank you, Sal. I'm all right now. It's just this tickly cough is bothering me. I hear you, Sal. Jakeman's was the name I was thinking about. Yes, I couldn't remember it. 
Jakeman's. They're very, very good. But I had to go careful because, because I get coffin pits in the night and I'm one of those people that I don't like to disturb sleep, but I'm quite a heavy sleeper. So literally I'll wake up with a coffin fit and I'll stick a Jakeman's in my mouth and then I fall back to sleep. So I kind of, the other night I scared myself because I literally choked on it. So I'm like, right, can't do that anymore. So I literally bite the thing in half because they're quite big, aren't they? Um, bite the bit. So I got tiny bits of Jakeman's in my mouth and then if I fall asleep, it's only a teeny tiny bit. This is no good choking on a sweet when there's no one to give you the Heimlich. Not a good idea. Um, oh, Kate's put on um, the Amazon wishlist link. Should anybody need it? Um, talk to you on Instagram, Lucy. Yes, Andrew, by all means. Uh, bite those fingertips. I most definitely will buy a girl a present. Bite those finger. <laughs> if he's going to get... Oh, I'm trying to do it all now. Look, multitasking. Fingertip biting and hair twirling. Love the hair twirl. I want you filming it for me, Lucy. Now come on my young crumpet and coming back for you. I'm not filming Christmas dinner because do you know what? Because I got 14 people and you never know what veg people like. I go nuts. I go absolutely nuts. So turkey, which will probably be an at least... 18 pounder my dad gets a turkey and i always say i've told you this before i always say 18 pounder maximum and he rocks up with like a 24 pound turkey luckily i've got a big oven turkey roast potatoes brussels sprouts with bacon yum 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 uh broccoli cauliflower with a white sauce peas caramelized carrots honey and mustard parsnips stuffing what else do I do? Sweden potato mash. That's about it. But that's enough. Let's face it. Every variety of vegetable. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's what I do for Christmas Day. I do like a lot of veg. I like a variety of flavours, you see. And then obviously nice thick gravy. There will be no starters. There's going to be plenty of food. But there we go. Uh, I've missed some comments now. Right. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Command give Bratman. Anyone gaming is trying to do a command to get you to donate more money, Bratman. Remember, Lucy, I had trouble last year with Super Chats, but I fixed it. Oh, yeah. You did. Yeah, you did. Uh, I mean, Bratman, Brat, sorry, you have foot pump, Lucy? Yes, Mark, I do have a foot pump. See you guys soon when Lucy goes. Troy, Rowley, Gary, Jerry, Matthew, Sal, Leslie, Andrew, Adam, and anyone I've missed. You missed Charlie, Enderman Gaming. Um, hi, everyone, I'm back, says Troy. Hello, Troy. I'm going to be going in a minute. I had the coffin fit started just now. It disappeared again. It will be back. Lucy, you look great. Thanks, Rowley. Can't believe the line lets me do this pleasure as always can't believe the line let me do this what uh for a short while that's all right i'm only here for a short while troy um please show us your pumps in the camera my dear please <coughs> i'm not getting my leg up there not today mark you have to ask for a custom video for the foot pump that's right he does yum yum is it i i have to say steve I won't lie, I do a blooming good roast dinner. Okay, and sausage meat, yeah. Well, I kind of I okay, I kind of gauge that with because I do a, a normal stuffing and then I do a sausage meat stuffing thing as well. So um I I'm alone on Christmas Day, so what time should I arrive? Come on down, Rowley. I can squeeze another one in. Absolutely. Two o'clock is dinner. I'll gladly do the washing up and empty the bins of wrapping paper. I normally try and put the wrapping paper on the fire because I've got an open fire, so I try and burn it all off. What is your favourite food shop? My favourite food shop? Um, it depends what I'm buying. I really... Um, the shop lo local to me is... This, well, I've got a Morrison's close to me and a Sainsbury's. I prefer Sainsbury's over Morrison's. 
The Sainsbury's near me, near me is quite a big one, so I tend to be able to get everything that I want from there. But I do like a couple of things from Marx's. I'm not a food snob. I don't need to shop in Waitrose. I don't need to shop in Marx's. Marx's do do a few nice things. Nobody's mentioned my hair. I've gone blonder again. Do we like or not? It's a bit flat. Oh, no, I had it done yesterday morning. But I've gone a lot blonder again. Maybe you can't see it in this light. Um... I live in Surrey, Charlie. Um, Lucy, you have foot pump? Yes, I do. Uh, one cylinder. I'll bring my own plate and fork. You'll need a knife as well and a spoon for pudding. I like sausages wrapped with bacon on the barbecue. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, Leslie, thanks for the donate. Lucy, get that cough sorted and I hope you rest up for next live. But Wednesday, I'm on the booster. Yes, and I'm on my booster Wednesday. I got mine booked in for half past two. Half past two. So I'm hoping I'm going to be all right. Charlie's pointing out the day. Stuffing parsnips, carrots, cauliflower. Yes. Turkey. Good night, Lucy. Night, Andrew. Uh, please, 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 my dear. No. Uh, as in the phone connection, really bad with the twister high winds earlier. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Lucy, like her wine, guys. I do. Do you know what? I've got a lot of wine. I tell you what I, I would like, if anybody would like to help with the wine situation, is for Christmas... I do like a nice Asti. A nice Asti Spramante. So I think I've got some on my own for some wish list. If anybody wants to get me some more, that would be very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope the cough doesn't hurt your throat. No, the cough, it hurts my head. The pressure on it hurts my head. It's my and the Dark Crystal birthday on the 17th. Happy birthday to Dark Crystal. Fantastic film. I love the Skeksis. They are amazing. I love it, love it, love it. And Olga, she's amazing. If you haven't seen The Dark Crystal People, you don't know what you're missing, get and watch it. As well as The Labyrinth, that's also a very good film. We have an open fire, but chemicals in wrapping paper, bad for chimney liners. Be careful, bit like the tree resins from poorly dried wood. Yes, you are right. I tend to only, we. I don't buy, so it depends on what other people bring in terms of their wrapping paper. So I tend to try and use paper paper only rather than anything that's got like a shiny foil or anything like that in it because you're right because it's chemicals um thank you bratman um everyone send bottles of wine to lucy for christmas yay and chocolate and lint chocolate wine and lint chocolate and then i'll be happy um when you when you wear knee high cross legs with the mini leather skirt i literally no joke doing back and front flips thanks adam when are you on next? That's a good question. What day is it today? Saturday. I, uh, let me think what I'm doing. Um, I will, I won't promise. I won't pinky promise. But I will attempt to do a live on fr on Tuesday evening. I'll try and do one Tuesday. Because I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm getting my jab on Wednesday. I have no idea what kind of state I'm going to be in after that. So let's try and go with Tuesday. Good luck with the booster. Thank you. Nice hair. Thank you, Charlie. Had my booster before it left, so very glad I did, Lucy. Hey, we have to be optimistic. Yes, Rony, we do. I'm on the wish list. Lucy, got to get my girl a present. Thanks, Batman. You're lovely. Um, Lucy, do you know why the powers it be paused my subscription on your channel? So if that was my YouTube channel subscription that was my foxy geek media which is the channel that they've completely obliterated now um to the point where they've actually stopped all the subscriptions on it as well so not only did they demonetize the channel they've also taken away my subscriptions on the channel so they didn't do it to you technically they've done it to me they have completely done me over big time Coming up to Christmas, they basically went, you can have no more money. You can have no more money from YouTube. They don't have an accent. I don't even know what that accent was, but yeah, I don't know. I was trying to sound a bit more menacing. <laughs> it didn't work, I know. <coughs> <coughs> do you know who Michael Blue Bay is? And if so, do you like his son's so sons? songs? Everybody knows who Michael Bublé is. I love Michael Bublé. He is my favourite Christmas album. Every time I put my Alexa on and ask for Christmas songs, I always ask for Michael Bublé's deluxe Christmas album. 
I tell you what I did do last week, Sunday night. I only went and saw Gary Barlow. He was amazing. He was really, really good. I loved it. We all know Buble over here, Troy. He's a quality singer. He's fantastic. Um, uh, la, 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 la. Tuesday, perfect. Lucy, good. Lucy, I realise I don't need to see the pins all the time. Chats are good. Oh, thanks, Roly. Can you rip my card on Tuesday? Maybe. If you get your super chat sorted. I agree about that's a good touch. Uh, Leslie says nasty people. Who? What? Who's nasty people? Oh, YouTuber nasty people. Yes, they are. Boo. Hiss. Oh, no, you didn't. Sorry, it's pantomime season. I just felt the need to do that. Uh, it sounded Italian. I'm glad it sounded like something. I was born in the same day and year that the Dark Crystal was released. Thus, I watch it every birthday to celebrate our birthday. Excellent. That's cool. Um, Roly, it's called being good. Uh, you dodged a bullet with that. Uh, hang on. Oh, with that cough. My fave Michael Bublé song is Silent Night. I can't think of the name. Um, I can't think of the name of my favourite song. I just like all his stuff. I think he's great. Nothing will keep you down for what you do, my friend. Thanks. I just saw Barry Ma uh, Barry Man Malone or Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow's great. If I ask Lucy to do things, tip, tip, tip. Absolutely. Super chats and everything are fine on this channel, Bratman. Yeah, everything's everything's fine on this channel. It's the other channel. <coughs> <coughs> Hang on. It's going again. I used to play football with Mark Owen. How about that? How about that? Indeed. Excellent. Favourite Christmas movie? <sighs> Ooh, there's quite a few. I like Christmas Chronicles. The first one, not the second so much. I think that's excellent. I like Elf, if you just want a really good laugh. I like The Santa Claus with Tilla Allen. I like um, uh, It's a Wonderful Life, if you want to go classics. But I do cry at the end of that one every time. The other week I watched Last Christmas for the first time. That's very good. But once you've seen it once, you kind of know the end. And therefore, it's a bit like, mm, don't want to watch it again. Um, so it's quite a few. Um, Christmas At the moment, Christmas Chronicles and Wonderful Life, I would say. I've watched White Christmas to death. I'm a bit done with that one now. Uh, Kate, you're a wonderful person. Okay. Uh, Jerry, my favourite Xmas movie is The Polar Express. I was reading an article about the Polar Express the other day and people were saying about how actually they found it really freaky. Something to do with um, the fact that the animation of the people is so realistic, but through um, animation, they still struggle to get the eyes properly. And so there's that whole dead eye, zombie eye thing going on, like they're just staring into your soul. Um, so, and so how it is a fantastic film, but the whole eyes of the characters kind of still freak you out because they can't get the natural movement of the eye still um but it is a very good film actually pleasures mine kate so, uh, home alone <coughs> wonderful life yeah home alone is a good one who's my pick for the next doctor hang on hang on i have no idea right i'm gonna get through these comments quickly because the coffin is starting back up um hope you get well soon thank you adam die hard is the ultimate christmas movie and yeah it's not really a christmas movie is it though it's a movie that happens during christmas it is a good film though it's very good christmas vacation home alone are my top favorite movies christmas chronicles lucy's got me until that last year yeah, it was brilliant my favorite movie scene is when in home alone he takes the shopping bags home and the handles break and drop yes yeah, good back to the future can't beat that at, at christmas even though it's not a christmas film yeah true right Comments are over. Before the coffin starts back up, I oh Martin Machine would be Michael Sheen would be a brilliant Batman. Batman? What? Doctor Who. Get well soon. I'm Jerry from Texas. Love you. Take care. North South. Thank you very much. <coughs> right, that's it. 
<clears throat> I'm going because my cough is my throat is starting to tickle thank you so much everybody that joined tonight thank you to everybody that donated steve i'll get those pictures over to you and we'll get that suit sent back because that was a lot of money and it was so generous and kind of you and i really appreciate it just a damn shame the thing doesn't work so we need to get the money back to you so we'll get that sorted um thank you everybody for talking to me tonight it makes it a lot easier to chat to you obviously if you're chatting to me thank you for all the well wishes and all the get well soons those of you that have had tragedies in your life, whether it was a long time ago and you're struggling to get over it or whether it's more recent and whether it's a family member or whether it's a pet, you know, my heart goes out to you because loss is a terrible, terrible thing, irrelevant of how recent or long ago it was or, you know, who or what it was. So my heart goes out to all of you. I hope you all take care. Love to you all. Um really appreciate your support and everything so um yeah it's great fingers crossed i shall be back here on tuesday evening before i get jabbed on wednesday because god knows how i'm going to feel after that so yeah once again thank you so much everybody and y'all take care thank you jerry and bratman for keeping an eye out for any trolls um but thank you everybody for all your lovely lovely comments season's greetings and i will catch you all very very soon bye